everyone, I'm Kathy from Kathy Creates, where I try to I try to inspire you to create. <laughs> All right, so tonight we're gonna be doing this cute little Easter craft, but Teddy wanted to say hello. <laughs> Here's our little teddy bear. You gonna get down so mommy can get to work? <laughs> He's a silly little one. Okay. So, when you get here, say hello. Let me know you're here. Tell me how your day's been. Tell me where you're from. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Hello, Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome. Let me get you pulled up over here. Bob will be with us in just a minute. And he will be pulling names, so make sure you're commenting for a chance at Happy Mail. The way we do that is on the 13th of the month. We collect names all month. On the 13th of the month, we draw some names. And those folks are entered into Happy Mail. And then on the 13th of the month, I put up a big wheel and we spin it. And um, whoever wins gets a bunch of fun things. Usually it's a craft kit from our shop. And then also some just random craft supplies. We have both dogs in here. I thought I heard something else. So, hello, Miss Cheryl. Coffee cheers, my friend. Miss Elizabeth Sprinkle, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. All right, so this is our brand new kit. It is the empty tomb, and I'm going to kind of turn it around here. I can't really hold it up. I'll hold it up because everything will fall apart because nothing's put together yet. But here it is. Um, this is made out of plywood. All three of these pieces, there's three separate pieces, are made out of plywood, and then of course the our quarter inch plywood. Then the words that say the tomb was empty is made out of eighth inch MDF. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. It is linked, the kit, if you're interested in it, it is linked. All right, so I don't want to um, paint, paint this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use paint, but I'm going to water it down and we're going to use it more as a stain. And then we're going to dress it up a little. So hello, Mary Ann. Thank you so much for watching. And is that Fatima? Welcome, welcome. All right. So I'm going to put some paint on here. I'm going to paint both of these pieces the darker color, okay? But I did bring some water. I'm gonna really water this down. I'm gonna use this more as a stain. So we're just going to mix this up with the water. I really want it runny. Because we want it more as a stain. There we go, that's good. All right, and then we're just gonna wipe it on and I will, um, we can take a baby wipe to it. And I want that natural wood grain to show. So we're not going to paint this real heavy. I just want it to be more of a stain, but the reason I'm doing it with paint instead of stain, because we are gonna use some of the, we have some spacers here to separate it. And those need to be um, on a dry surface. They cannot be on stain. That's got to dry for at least 24 hours or the sticky back won't stick. So we want to make sure that those are dry and the paint will dry much faster than the stain does. So you certainly could stain this if you purchase one. But for demonstration purposes, I am going to just use paint that's really watered down. And then we're going to go back with a baby wipe and kind of lighten it up even more. Okay. And this probably is not going to take us our full 45 minutes today, but I don't know if you've noticed, but Craft Around the Clock is doing what they call a... Um, Oh gosh, what does she call it now? I can't remember what she called it. But it's basically where we're not as structured. So 
Now see, I'm just wiping this back and you can see that the wood grain is coming back, which is exactly what I want. And we're gonna wipe off our crosses. We want the same effect there. There he is. Hello. Here's your mic, it's on too, so be careful. Okay. Because it'll be really loud on them. Alright. My laptop is dead. Oh. Okay, so you can see that by wiping it back with the baby wipe, it lightened that stuff a lot. And that's what I was going for. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on their little stone, because this is the stone that was rolled away. Teddy's going to make this really... Oh, and here comes Cooper. Teddy was already up here once. Was he? Yeah. I want, I want up there. I want to be loved. I want everybody to see me. Yeah. You know, cute. Okay. All right. So we're doing the same thing there. That's about Teddy. So those are our, those two pieces. So I'm going to set those aside for a minute. I'm going to rinse my brush. 26. Oh, Nancy, you've got one of these too, huh? This is one I designed. I mean, there I've seen several of them, but I did design this one 100%. This one was me. Some of the designs I buy and then I tweak them, but this one was me. Denise Windler. What? You got an entry? Yep. Denise, you just got an entry, girl. Entry to Happy Mail. Okay, so now I'm going to do this piece in a lighter brown. So I'm just mixing this up the same way I did the other. Now we're doing pretty good. And just finished dinner in time, huh? For doing this. Yep. Okay, we're doing the same thing on this with a lighter brown. Where did I get the wood? Um, so, uh, Melanie Osborne. So we, the quarter inch we buy from a local uh, lumber yard, Toledo plywood. Do you mean the kit already cut or do you mean the actual wood itself? Because the kit is up from our website. Okay, so we've got that one painted. Now we're gonna wipe that Thanks, back. Thanks, Dorothy. Sprinkled. Thank you. Use another wipe here. All right. And the kit. The oh, kit where is, do you get the kit from? Okay. It's on our website, and yeah. it's linked. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do that on here. You should be able to. Mm, give it a shot. You got, you got it up on there already? Yeah, it's on the website. Or it's on the website and it's on the um, live. Yep, there we go. Can you guys see that? Look how good that looks together. If I can pick it up. Isn't that going to be nice? Okay, so let's get these dry because we're going to do a little bit of embellishing to these. Is those are craft kits? Yes, and it's the um, empty tomb. Hi, Penny. Just a moment ago. A couple of years ago? No, I just I'm just going to the end and I just No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I don't know what I don't know what I We had a um, door hanger that said he was raising. No, maybe that was it. We've never done this before. This is brand new. We got up to 80 in Missouri. It was 53, I think it's 54 right now. And it's supposed, we're supposed to get some severe storms tomorrow. They're talking maybe tornadoes. Which, in February in Ohio, that's unheard of. That's very strange.
This did not work out. Um, me off. Let me see if I can do it real quick. I'm just trying to get back on though. Hold, please. Let me see if I can do it real fast for you guys. <coughs> Cooper, no. Hold on. <coughs> Cooper. Cooper. Stop it. Oh, I got it. You got it? Okay. 78 in Louisiana and beautiful. Hello, Miss Linda. 70 in Florida. Miss Tracy's in West Palm Beach, is that right? There we go. Bob just posted the link. Cooper always wants attention. <laughs> Cooper always wants, well, let me let me clarify. Cooper wants to be a pain in the rear all the time. He doesn't necessarily want you to touch him, pick him up, do anything like that. He just wants to let you know, I'm here and I, I need to make my presence known. And he likes treats, so where's Yeah, that? he does. Okay, so I am going to take some of this Rub and Buff, and this is an autumn gold, and I'm going to just, in a couple of spots on the cross, on the center cross, we're going to put just a teeny bit of this. Oh, Linda Martin said, I received my carrots and bunnies to make the garland. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to really kind of do like the edges. And it's going to be very subtle. I don't want a lot of it. I just want a little bit to show up here and there. Oh, Tracy says she, her Zena wants attention all the time. <laughs> For belly rubs. Yeah. That would be Teddy. That would be Teddy. Cooper wants attention on his terms. Absolutely. Don't you? Hey, I'm busy, bud. No. Who is it? It's Cooper. Okay. So I don't know that I'm going to do much more, but you can see. Can you see the rub and buff on there? I know it's hard to see. You can see a little bit. I just want to draw a little attention to that center cross. Can you see it? It's very subtle. Yeah, yeah I can see which it. Which is the point of it. Might do just a smidge more. All right, here's Cooper. I'm just going to do a little here and there. No, I'm I'm good, buddy. Stop. But Daddy. He wants attention. Cheryl says it shows up subtle. Yep, and that's the look I'm going for. I just wanted a subtle little addition of that. If Chewy gets more attention, she'll go over to him for some, too. <laughs> Dude. Okay. So we got that off. You're being obnoxious, buddy. Go figure. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now this one, what I'm going to do okay. is I've got some Distress Eye ink from Tim Holtz. This one's Walnut Stain. This is the color. I like the vintage photo, but that one doesn't really show up on this, so we're going to do this one. It's a little bit darker. I'm just going to go around my edges here, ever so slightly, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. I'm going to hold this up. See how that edge is just a little bit darker? We're going to do that all the way around. Cheryl Oh, Nash. thanks, Cheryl. Got a... Uh... And Cheryl, you just got a Happy Mail entry. Tracy says, looks nice. Thanks. Just doing a little of this all the way around it. And I am going to just kind of go in and randomly kind of blend it a little. You don't have that hard line. 
Okay. See how we've got that? We got a little shadowing going on there, which is what I was going for here. Okay. I think we might do a little more rub and buff because I want that to show up a little bit more than that. Well, it's kind of drying. And we're just doing that on the center cross. I really rub that in a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. And then you know if you always get a little too much, you can always sand it back. This is the, it's actually a color. Autumn gold is the color that I got for the, uh, the uh, rub and buff. There you go, Tracy. What? She asked, is that gold? Yeah. It's autumn gold. Autumn gold. Okay, yeah. so now we got to do our words. Now, what color should we do the words? I was thinking uh, black. Hello, Kim. Or white. What do you guys think? And then I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to do black, and then I'm going to put a little bit of rub and buff on those two. Of the gold? Yeah. yeah. So I think we're going to go black, but then we're going to do a little bit of the rub and buff. All right. So let's get our black. That's a tough question. <laughs> What's that? I asked what color to do the words. I think we're doing black. Cheryl sure, said black. I think black's a good idea. Because they're going to go right here. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys know, I love to use the tape to do these little pieces. It's so much easier. Tape and a little sponge and voila. Done. Oh, hush. Hey, Kim. How's your son doing, Kim? Everybody, Kim's son needs some prayers. He was in a terrible car accident and fractured his spine in a couple of places. No, I'm not sick. It's just, you know, the vocal cord issue. Believe it or not, I'm actually healthy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a rough road, but I'm finally there, huh, honey? Yep. <laughs> All right, we're just going to gently put a little of this on in I spot. Think, I think with our crazy weather, both of us had a little bit of allergies popping up here and there, too. This is almost going to be kind of like it's dry brushed on the gold because I'm not covering it. I'm just almost is going to look dry brushed. He has a lot of pain, broken back, had surgery, so a long time for recovery, and my youngest son has RSD. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys are having a go of it, man. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this feller together here. We're going to put our words on, and then we will put the whole thing together. Let me dry this real quick. All right, so I'm going to hold this up. You guys can see that it's mainly black, but then we've got a little bit of that gold showing through. Yeah, I like that. All right. Using these little pickers from the Dollar Tree, I think they're actually called a craft tool. They work fabulously for peeling off the sticky back. Coop, 
paper. He is being obnoxious tonight, mm -hmm. isn't he? You can't put your pajama pants on tonight. No, huh? <laughs> he still got his jeans on. <laughs> the computer's going to sleep. Yeah, that recovery is not going to be fun, Kim, for your son. I, uh, that's going to be rough. Hopefully the RSV one can get over that quickly, but the back, that's a whole nother issue. Okay, so we've got those together. So let me show you how that looks. Okay, I like that gold on there. It's just a little bit. It's not overpowering. It's just a little. So now you didn't put tape on the on that piece though on the back. No. That doesn't have adhesive, right? No, but these do. So, what we're going to do is you're going to have to use a little bit of glue because we can only put these on one side. They're only sticky on one side. I could actually do them both sides, though. I should. I will. So, if you order this kit, I'll send them with both sides so you don't need glue. Okay, so these are spacers. So this is going to stand up on its own when we use these spacers. So I'm just putting two of them together. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to put all, you're going to get six of these. So you can put them together. Pardon? Tracy Dorio said, that in therapy, I had my first session today, didn't like it. I bet not. Therapy is no fun. What what's the what was the therapy for? She had back surgery. Oof. Not good. No. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to use our wood glue. You won't have to do this because I will put sticky back on both sides if you order this. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't. I'm kind of surprised I didn't either. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that and we're going to use a little bit of hot glue. So let's get our spacing where we want it. Not going to use your E6000? No. No? The wood glue seems to work better. For wood parts? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that. So those are good right there. So let's go ahead and put that down. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, Dorothy Trice said, I just lost my son January 16th to cancer. Oh, I'm Dorothy. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Okay. So let's make sure we got this right. Yep, that's good. So now what I am going to do when I go to put this actually on, I'm going to stand it up. So that way I make sure that I'm level down at the bottom. I'm just going to put some wood glue. Like I said, you won't have to do this part because it'll have sticky back on it. And then I'm going to put some water hot glue. Okay. And then we're going to set this oh, up, right? She, she is playing cards. So Monday uh, night's card night for mom. Yeah, we Monday night's card night. So Okay. Just going to hold that for a moment. It's already standing and we've got another piece to put up. All right. It's Tracy Dorio. Okay. All right, so we're going to put this piece right here. Yep, okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put some wood glue. Put 
water hot grill. Okay. We're going to stand it up. And make sure everything is lined up. Right. You don't want to put these on laying on the table. You no, want to stand it up. No, you want it to stand it up so that you make sure all your bottoms are level yep. so it'll stand up on its own. Okay, so there's that, and there it is, standing up. Stands up perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to put a piece of white cloth around the top here of this middle cross. So let me ask, what do you guys think? I have two different kinds of white fabric. I have this that's kind of like a cheesecloth that I thought might be kind of nice with a piece of raffia stuck to it. Hello, Candy. <laughs> or I have just regular white, I don't know, cotton, I guess. So what do you guys think? Should we do the... What are you going to do with it? We're going to make the little the little cloth that goes on the cross after he's risen. You know how they drape it yeah. on the cross? I was kind of thinking this might be nicer, but I don't know. I think the color on Cheese this... Cloth. But this is a little bit more off-white. I think it kind of goes better with it. They're yeah. saying cheesecloth. Oh, they're saying cheesecloth, though, so. Cheesecloth, cheesecloth. Tracy said it looks like a Flintstone truck. It does a little bit. <laughs> this part does. <laughs> it sure does. Cheesecloth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and cheesecloth is winning. Everybody's saying cheesecloth. That's what I thought, too. Okay, so we're going to cut a piece of this. I don't think you can tear this stuff like I like to tear. We'll try it, but I don't think it'll work. Nope. It does not tear. This is way too long, but we'll, we'll fix Turn it. it back when it... Yep. We're going to do that. We're going to just kind of put it together so it's it's pretty wide. I, I cut maybe, I don't know, what is this, about six inches maybe? No, not that much. Yeah. About four. Four. It's real jaggedy Four's, too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's trim, just trim it up. Yeah, and I just kind of wadded it up so it will hang nicer. And then we'll trim up the ends once we get it. On here. No, there you go. Now are you going to glue that or? Nope, it's just going to hang free. Might glue it in the back so it lays right. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we have so far. And then I was thinking about also adding just the teeniest little white flower. I wish I had a Easter lily, like a mini Easter lily. I do not. But I have these little itty bitty teeny tinies. So let me see. Let's lay it down here. Dorothy says it looks good. Judy Berg says I love this. Tracy said sweet. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. This one's way too long. A little bit different. Uh, I do kind of like it, actually. Yeah. What do you guys think of that with the little flowers in it? Oh, thank you, Judy. I think I like it with the little flowers. I wasn't sure I would. 
Like I said, if I had some Easter lilies, like little mini itty bitty teeny tiny Easter lilies, those would be perfect. But no. I do not. So what or I'm going to do. A thorny cross. I thought about or making one of those. Thorny crown. crown. I thought yeah. about getting one of the making one of those and hanging it on it. Okay. I am going to tack this white fabric. I'm just going to put a drop of hot glue on the back. Just so it holds our... Denise Wingler just got a happy mail. Yay, Denise, you just got a happy mail entry. Okay. Make sure you say entry. Yeah, <laughs> these are all entries. When do you, when do you draw? Is it 13th. The 13th, okay, so it's in March. Yep, we already drew this month. Well, that's right. You drew it last week, didn't you? I drew it on the 13th. Yeah. On the 13th. That wasn't last week. Week and a half ago. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that on there. Whoops. 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 And we're going to glue these little flowers in, Ralph. I think we should cut this one a little more. I'm just going to put a drop of hot glue on the back and poke it down in there. So as a side note, I started hiking again yesterday and did my first two miles since I had my knee surgery. That's great. And I paid for it all day today. Both <laughs> my legs are sore. <laughs> it ain't, they don't work like they did when they were 30 years old. Oh, you know what I did want to think? I was thinking about doing. Watch out a second. Cooper, you got to move. I was thinking... Uh, nope, that's not it. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. Oh, go for it. What? What? I'm sure everybody knows. I'm sure people know it. <laughs> you sure people notice my big old butt, Thanks, <sighs> Ben. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting a little Spanish moss like at the opening of the of the tomb. We'll place yeah. it there and see what it looks like. That is like therapy. So I only did two miles yesterday. So, yep. let's see what this looks like. It's going to take a little while to get it back. Kathy and I were doing eight miles last summer. Last summer. We worked our way up. So, yeah, I think I like that. What do you think of that? Yeah, why don't you turn around and show everybody? Yeah, I will. I'm just asking your opinion. I'm not going to give my opinion because if I give my opinion, you're going to be like, ah, oh, maybe I like that. So, we're going to smush it down. I don't know if you guys can see that. What do you guys think? Just in the opening. I think I like it. Has anybody answered back? Am I missing? No. Not yet. My laptop is out of out of charge this evening, and right when we went to go do this, I went and grabbed it, and it was out. So I had to find my iPad. And I think I'm doing different, it. And I don't see anybody thing. commenting yet, but oh, there we go. Dorothy Wonder likes that. it. Yep, there we go. Wondered if Rafa Hafiar Moss was coming. You know me so well. <laughs> well, that's kind of a. When she said, "I wonder if Rafi or Moss is coming," that's kind of a. Uh, yeah, she thinks it's a good idea. And she knows me well. Yeah. <laughs> she knows I use a lot of this. So we're just going to put some down here on this. I'm going to try to keep it very compact. I don't want a lot. Just 
do you like some odd? Oh, not all the comments are coming through. Probably not. I'm telling you, there that's bees on my last nerve. You gotta watch what you say, because you know they'll they'll stop sending me out if I complain too much. So I'm just gonna trim this up, give the moss a haircut. No black and white checks. Well, you know, sometimes you just have to. I'm making a sacrifice for yep. this one because yep. it's Jesus, and I don't think Jesus wanted yeah. buffalo check. <laughs> yeah, it was better taste than that. Hey now, <laughs> hey now. All right, what do you guys think? Cheryl, Mesh got another. Miss Cheryl, you just got another entry. Entry. I know, no black and white. Nope, nope, nope. No black and white. Oh, what happened now? Why is it? <laughs> She's a Bob, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's fired for pointing out my big butt in the I picture. Love it, <laughs> 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 Get out of the He's helping himself. So there you go. So we're done a little early tonight, but agreed. Oh, hello. Gorgeous, Cheryl. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this kit is $25 shipped to your door. It will have the double sticky back on those spacers, so you won't have to worry about any glue. There will be no glue other than your little embellishments, you know, whatever you want to add, but the actual kit itself you won't need any glue for. So um, that's all we have for you tonight, yeah, that though. That looks good. Nice little 3D project. Yeah, and it, like I said, it stands. Now, if you wanted it to be more flat, is there a kit? Yeah, there's one out on the kitchen table. Go grab another one that's not put together because I can show them that you can do it relatively flat if you wanted to put it on like another surface. You could do that. It doesn't have to be the, uh, you know, self-sitter. If you wanted to mount it to another board, you could. Yeah, run, Bob, run. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's going to grab a kit real quick. But right now, with these spacers in it, you know, it, it's 3D and it stands up on its own. And you could even, I mean, if you really wanted to get crazy with this, you could stick, which I think I have some back here somewhere. Where'd I put them? I don't know where they're at. You could put some fairy lights in here, and this would light up. There we go. Okay, so these still have the mask on them, so just ignore that part. But... So we mask everything so that when you get it, it doesn't have the laser, oh, what's it called, honey? The laser what? Oh, it says, hello, Bob, where are you? He's back. I'm back. Okay, so let me set this aside for a second. You could, you could do it just like this. But you're gonna need to put something behind it. Right, that's what I said. If they wanted to mount this to a another surface, you know, and make it a wall hanging, they could do that. Yeah. Or even do this and put a hanger on the back. Put a hanger on the back. Or or get like a little piece of scrap wood and just glue it to the back for a stand and it'll sit up right. Well, that's what this is. Well, I know, but if they want it flat. Yeah. But anyway, so that's you know, you have options here. It's not just a shelf sitter. You can also make it a flat, relatively flat, because it's three pieces of the plywood, but... Do we sell the, the board blanks? The circle blanks? No. No. They're not on the website. I mean, you could, but we I've not yeah. loaded them to the website. Yeah, There's we... one right there, if you want to grab it under that bunny thing and see if it fits. I don't know if this one would fit. So these are one of our rounds for our shelf or our uh, door hangers. Yeah, it would fit. You wouldn't be able to put a bow on. And you wouldn't be, and you wouldn't be able to do the staggered. 
But if you stacked it, you know, on top of itself. If we did did an like eighteen, so. if we did an eighteen inch, uh, or fifteen inch round, that gets hard to ship though that big. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, so it would fit on a. This is a eleven and three quarter inch round, so it would fit. You wouldn't be able to spread it out like this one is. You know, you wouldn't be able to do this, but you could kind of stack it on top of each other if you wanted to do that. So there's options with it. You can do a lot of things. You know, and if you had a, I don't think I have a square. Oh, we have this. This is just a random piece of one by. Oh, that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. You could do something like that. Put a bunch of Spanish moss down here at the bottom. Yeah. That might be kind of cool. I might do that too, just as something a little different. That's kind of cool, too. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, anyways, yeah, you can stand it up and you have footprints coming out of it. Yeah, absolutely. That well, would be cool. Dorothy Trice is a... Here, you're burying my book. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Dorothy Trice has the tree. But, anyways, so, hello, Jen... Jen is it Janice? Janice from Finley. Yep, our son lives down in Finley. Oh, get somebody from Finley, Ohio on? Yep. All right. Yep, you're real close to us. Half hour or so. All right, guys, that is all we have for you tonight. But like I said, if you're interested in this kit, just follow the links. They're on the page. They're both in the post. And then in the comments, he linked it there as well. So um, you all have a fabulous evening. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.